Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 5 of Life is Strange. Uh, I was waiting for this episode for a very, very long time. Um, ever since the fourth episode ended when I finished playing it in August, I think it was, I was very excited for episode 5 to come out and it was sad to find out that it was coming in late October, which is actually, I'm recording it today, the day it was released, so, well actually it was released last night officially, but... I'm technically playing it for the first time today, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm really excited for this. I can't wait to see what happens this episode. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. The hell, dude. Chloe. What? Where? Uh, the dark room. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Come on. These straps are hurt. Uh, let's see. There's. What is that up there? God, I don't remember anything that happened. That was a syringe. That's me. He took that shot last night. How can you even see that? What the hell? Um, but yeah, sorry about the sort of interruption that that I had. Uh, the audio is sort of staticky during the previous section, so I had to pause the recording for a minute and check. It seems to be good now, so. I can see all my things, but I can't grab it. Hopefully, we're good. We should be. Of course. And right in front of me. What? Oh, my phone. <laughs> Alright, I got my foot. Finally, I'm free. Almost. There we go. Come on. What can I do? Take no, I can't take the syringe. What am I supposed to do? There's like no other options. Uh alright. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh, yes, I can go back. I forgot about that. I promise I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Alright, we gotta fix this. Let's see here. Come on. Oh, come on, I was like right there. Okay, wait. It's right there, and it's right there. This angle highlights your purity, Seek. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. Vanity. Posing. Jefferson's a creep, dude. Hold that stare there. Stay still. Oh, Max, you fucked up my shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew. You were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. <laughs> but I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who is always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Shut up about her, dude. Let me try this angle. Don't touch me. Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Don't touch me. Oh, God. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork. Not private detecting with your little friend. Why do you emphasize the word friend? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed that Nathan killed her in self defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Shut the fuck up. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. 
Can I just like kick him, please? More close ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Shut the fuck up, Jefferson. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Stop drugging me, piece of shit. This will hurt much. That's right. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Please, my one rule. let me hit him. Take the shot. That wasn't worth anything, really. So what changed? What changed? I don't understand what changed when I did that, but alright. Anyway, uh, camera. What's the camera there for? I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson. What about the photo? Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Whoa. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. You gonna do that? Okay. This might work. Please work. Where is it? Right there and right. Where is it? It's right here. There we go. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. I don't understand what's with the ripple You're in the back. The winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You will have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh. I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. 
Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. He's as sick as you. If not sicker. Or he's sicker, rather. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. No. Rachel Amber. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Shut up. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. What? After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. What? Now the police will never find his body. This dude's psycho. You get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. But Chloe. And Rachel and everybody else. Kick the shit out of him right now, please. Spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. What the fuck? I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh? Oh, now this one. This is purity personified. Am I supposed to be doing it right now? I don't quite understand. Max, I wish you could see yourself now. I'm confused. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Wait. Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You you still have my diary. Don't worry. This guy is so creepy. Going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. 
There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. All right. Am I supposed to focus on that photo? I could go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything for good. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb one. I'm back. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the everyday time hearing. to change time. San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. David? I don't remember who David is, but... All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life with... I should be able to track down David's number, but found you. Five 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 six thirty eighty two forty three. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else, and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? What happens to me? I have to save Chloe. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. So what am I supposed to do? This fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria. Or excuses. You will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. Am I supposed to go talk? Because I can't exactly go out there. As far as I know. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. 
You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. That's right, sure. sit down. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. I, maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Not maybe you. One of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. That never happened. That never happened. That also never happened. Hey, look at that. Hell yeah. Hey, looky there. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. I did it. 